So now let's add a reset button so our user can start over inside of our game if they don't like the way it's progressing or if they win or lose. So let's go to our storyboard first and we're gonna drag in a button. So we have a button here and I can go ahead and drag this into my project and let's add a background color to our button so we can be sure that we'll be able to see it. So I'm gonna scroll to the bottom here and I'll set a red background here like this. And we can set, call this reset and we can enlarge our button a little bit. Now let's hook this up to our header file. So we're gonna hold down the Alt key and press CC view controller dot H. And I'm gonna scroll down to my IB actions and I can control drag in. And we'll make this an action and we can call this reset button pressed. And I can make this type UI button. We can press connect. And I go to ccviewcontroller.m. I'll go back to single view here. And let's go find our, our IB action. So we see it here. We see reset button pressed. And what we want to do first is we want to reset our character. So we can say self.characters self equal to nil, which means that Instead of the pointer pointing to our object in the heap, we're going to point to no object. And then we can say self.boss is also equal to nil. And finally, we know that all of our initial setup code is in the method view did load. So we can say self view did load. And I'm going to remove these additional spaces. And let's test to see if this works. So let's go ahead and run our application. And let's do some navigation in here. We can take our treasure and we'll press reset. And we notice that we go back to our initial screen and that our stats have been reset to be the proper weapon, armor, damage, and health. The final thing I want to show you is just a little bit of organization. And because we've set everything up nice, so we notice that all our IB actions are grouped together. But it, it would be great if, as I'm reading my code, I can expect a bunch of IB actions in order. So we can use something called a pragma mark. And what, what we'll type here is IB action. And this works similar to a, co a comment in that it doesn't affect my computer program at all, but it does allow me to organize my code. So let's add one additional pragma mark. And we can say pragma mark. We'll call these method helpers or helper methods. It's a better way of saying that. And where do we see pragma marks? So where, where, do, where does their functionality get added? Well, if we use the drop down here, we now get these nice dividers called IB action and helper methods. And this drop down is actually a really quick way that we can go access a method because in the long run, as we build more and more complicated applications, we're going to have a ton of methods inside of here. So rather than having to scroll through our classes, we can just use this drop down to quickly access methods. For example, if I wanted to go to the reset button, I could click this and it would bring me right there. If I wanted to go to view did load, it would take me up to the view did load method.